This is sketch. There's no telling what's going on inside this place. There's some animal out there. Huh, what, me? Crack houses and COVID. In this video, we're gonna give you an update about what's been going on, why you haven't seen us, and what's in store. Hey everybody, it's Bo with Exus 4x4, and we build badass 4x4s. Yep, that's right. We're gonna drop the Jeeps finally because after all, it's, it is what we do. We build a hell of a lot more than just cheap, so might as well get used to saying that. Some of you are probably wondering why you haven't seen any videos of us lately. Basically, there's been a lot going on. I got COVID, I was down for a couple of weeks and really kind of messed with me a little bit. It took me a while to kind of find my groove back into work. For that reason, I was out for a long time. We didn't make any videos. We've been insanely busy, I mean, it's something that we haven't really addressed in the last year, but ever since COVID started, the industry's just been really, really swamped. Two reasons, mostly people spending lots of money on off-road stuff or just being out indoors in general. And the industry took a really hard hit. I mean, just a lot of different reasons within the industry itself. The workforce was cut back in a lot of these different places, a lot of different states and in countries around the world. Uh, logistics have been disrupted, not enough people to haul that stuff into us. And there's just tons of reasons within the industry itself why COVID's affected it. But it's just been really, really hard to get you guys your parts and get your builds out. But we've been blessed with having a ton of work and being scheduled out really far. And you know, it's, it's just been a really strange time, but at the same time, we're enjoying it because it's been fun to build some of these really amazing badass builds for you guys. So one of the other things we, we, we've done, so some of you have seen is we bought a crack house. It's not really a crack house, or maybe it is, I don't know, who knows what this thing was, but it's a really great piece of property. We picked it up, it's right on the interstate, right north of New Braunfels not very far from where we're at so we're not we're not gonna have to move very far but we came out here to shoot the videos so we could kind of update you on where we're at right now and we're gonna tear this thing down we're gonna build a really nice facility i'm anticipating that with the continued growth that we've enjoyed over the last few years that we'll probably be building another location uh separate from this not too far from now we're checking out crack house right now so you guys really haven't seen a whole lot of it but i'm looking forward to taking this thing down should we do it with one of the vehicles one of the gladiators i mean i'm having back surgery in two days so i don't think i am but no i was thinking about like over here like we just shove th something through one of these windows and we tie onto it with the gladiator and just pull a wall down like that would be fun I haven't even been inside this. There's no telling what's inside here. The windows are boarded up. The doors are, are boarded up. I need to get a chainsaw up and just like come up here and go through the door, cut it open and go inside. One of the best parts about this property is look at this beautiful, what is this like crepe myrtle? Crepe myrtle, I mean, it's beautiful. I hate to tear it down, but it's, it's amazing. But look at where the interstate is. We've been in New Braunfels for like over three years. And we have people that come up to the shop and they walk inside and they're like, wow, how long have you guys been around here? We didn't know you were here. I'm like, I don't know what else to do, guys. I, I put it out on social media and in just about every way I can that we're in New Braunfels and nothing. And then you guys just drive up and you're like, hey, what's, who are you? Well, now being on 35, Interstate 35, 200,000 cars pass through this a day. We'll have a big sign that lights up at night and one on the building. And you know, I, I hope that's enough to get you guys attention if you know that the ones that didn't know that we were out here it's a modest size piece of acreage but we're gonna make it work but yeah let's walk around it some more there's a fishing pole we can go in look at these locks that's not crack it that's like meth head stuff like they're worried about their their shit getting stolen so they just like lock it all up we have three locks on here that latch there's latches okay so we can get a bolt cutters and we can get in. Um, we still have a lot of work to do to get this thing uh, done. We need to tear it down. We need to, to do some demolition here. So if you guys want to go hit up Demolition Ranch, tell that guy we got a big house for him to, he can do whatever he wants. We, and we'll even clean it up afterwards. We got to get this thing demolished, whether you know somebody does it for us or we hire somebody. And then we got to get the site prepped and then we got to get a builder in and come build a shop. So lots to do there as far as making the crack house not so cracky. Say crack again. Crack. Also, we've been doing a lot of work. We've been super, super busy at the shop. We've been building a ton of Hemi builds. So, you know, there was a lot of speculation when the 392 Wrangler first came out that it was going to kill the aftermarket. Nobody was going to pay for some aftermarket shop to do Hemi swaps anymore. And that's quite the contrary. 
we've actually, I think if anything, it's stimulated people's desire to go out and get those Hemi swaps done. So we've been super, super busy doing Hemi conversions at the shop, whether it be in gladiators, jails, lots of JKs, people, you know, they're, they're coming to the end of their financing term on their JK and they've got that extra money freed up and now they're gonna put it into the Hemis, I guess. I don't know, I'm just throwing out ideas here why it's happening, but we see a lot of people with JKs coming in now. So with the market being the way it was and you know COVID or whatever, manufacturers, the guys out there have had time to develop some really cool new products, but they're not being able to bring them to market to you guys because they can't get the parts. <laughs> they can't get anything made. So they get to get those parts out to you. So it's kind of a bittersweet time right now. It's really exciting also. People are coming up with new great ideas and they're coming out. We're able to test some of that stuff. That may be something that you see soon. We do have some stuff coming along that we're gonna be installing that is gonna be super cool. And we hope that you guys think it's super cool and you're gonna want that same stuff. We're definitely gonna be installing it on our Gladiator and trying it out for ourselves before we sell it to you. A couple of cool builds coming up down the road, but uh, unfortunately in a couple of days, I'll be having back surgery. I don't air out my personal stuff very much, but I will be having back surgery. So I'll be out for a few weeks, like, but not doing anything before I even get back to the shop. I have a really cool build coming up for myself that we're gonna be doing at the shop, but that'll be after my back surgery. So give that some time. We do have a Bronco on order, just like everybody else out there that's kind of been wondering when the hell the Bronco is gonna show up. Yesterday, officially, Bronco started rolling out the assembly line uh, for customers. We hope that by the end of the summer, hopefully by the end of the summer, even by the end of the year, that we get our Bronco. And some of you are gonna be asking what Bronco we got. We got a Badlands, a Sasquatch, red we've already got a stack of parts at the shop for it as soon as it comes in you can expect to see us do something to it immediately there's just a ton of stuff going on right now it's just been really hard to make videos and something else that's really hard to make videos uh you know i mentioned that there's manufacturers out there they're making stuff it's great but they just can't get it to market well that makes it really hard for a channel like us that is primarily a shop that installs stuff we just haven't had any new fresh stuff been able to get in our hands so that we can install it and make videos for you guys. And I hate to make a video on a product that I can't sell you at the same time. So, I mean, I guess I can make some stuff up and do some goofy stuff around the shop, but. <laughs> Tail light. I'm an idiot. You know, I wanna make sure that you guys aren't just watching YouTube for the heck of it. I want you guys to make sure that you get some good content. We anticipate by this fall, things are gonna to start to pick back up. Maybe inventory is gonna show back up. We can be able to sell you guys stuff and cut our lead times down. I mean, right now, the middle of June and, and our books are scheduled into September at this point. Not because parts aren't available, that's some of it, but really because you guys have just been so amazing and so good to us that you want us to build your beast. Whatever four by four you got, you want us to build it. And we, we love you and we thank you for that. Hopefully when the new shop gets built, we have a little bit extra room in there for more lifts and uh, maybe another tech or two. We can cut those lead times down and get stuff out to you faster. That timing works out. The industry is going to catch up and maybe have more parts available. So I'm hoping that all this comes together and we're able to get back on track the way things used to be. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. We, we've had a ton of stuff going on. We love you. We thank you for everything that you've been doing. We love that you're patient. Go check out all our other videos that we got and uh, we'll see you soon.